to the Oracle of Mask. Today I'll show you how to make this mask, how to view foam and pouring art. So have fun! First of all, I would make a UVA foam model with my self-made wagon foam. If you check out my channel, you can see how I made it. And this was supposed to be the design of the mask. And here I also had this bundle of feathers, which were perfectly for the project. Here you can see the model of the mask, which I already primed with the big gold. First I covered it with tape, so I would have a perfect template. For the headband I would use this 2mm EVA foam sheet. Then I cut the parts out and glued them on with this universal contact cement. So, not so bad. <laughs> then I took the soldering iron tool and marked some graving ends. The design is really cool. So, then now on to the priming. <laughs> I primed the mask with this dark acryl color and it already looks awesome. <laughs> then I covered the outside with uh, tape and some sheets so I can prime it also with gold. Then with the soldering iron tool I punched some holes to the nose for the feathers. Then I took the feathers which I also sprayed gold and put them into the nose. And voila! <laughs> we already have a mask doesn't look so bad. <laughs> now for um, now for making also the same design as on the picture, I had to take tape and cover the mask with it. For the painting I took a brush and went with a first layer of red color. Then I took some acryl neon color and a sponge and went over with it. Then I did the same steps but with white and pink and it looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> it has a certain touch but if you look close it looks really awful. <laughs> so I went for a second try. This time I covered the mask with some turquoise blue and green spray and tried to make it old. So I tried to cover the mask with uh, white tribal signs but it still looked bad and I went for a third try. <laughs> but this time I'm going to use the pouring art technique. So then I took the colors that I would need and this pouring medium. A hair dryer and would start to work. First you have to blend in the colors with this pouring medium and then put them all together or depending on the technique that you're gonna use. Of course I inform myself on the internet <laughs> to, to have a kind of an idea but it was really just a big tryout. <laughs> and as you can see I just uh, <laughs> Threw widely color onto the mask, moved it around, and hoped for the best. <laughs> I 
and bam, <laughs> look at it. It looks awesome. It took me like one or two tries, but now it looks really okay. Then I gave it some details with white acrylic color and voila. And here at last, I took some acrylic spurning spray and went over it. Now it has a really smooth, glossy look on it. Then I took the once gold feathers, <laughs> which I made white, put them into the nose holes, and voila, we are done. Here we have our first pouring out mask. <laughs> and now for the last step, I just gave me a headband, which I connected with two pieces of EVA foam sheet and contact cement. So, look at it, <laughs> doesn't look amazing, um, well, I hope you had fun watching this episode, it was really a nice and crazy time for me to make this mask, but I really enjoyed the journey, and I hope you do too, <laughs> so, till the next time, mask signing out.